Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Today we have an additional uh, challenge. Additional challenge. You know, uh, the Mohammedan always, they come and they post for us uh, comments in YouTube. And today I will give you an example. A Mohammedan who always come and he posts in a channel, in my channel, on YouTube, uh, you know, he copy pastes like. So his name is The Truth with the Proof. Uh, the Truth with the Proof, he have a lot of images, pictures, guns, uh, hammers, uh, knives, uh, green guns, sheep, goat, cats in, in his post. But one of the funny thing is, I challenge any Muslim to call me right now and choose any of those long list. You see how many they are? Look, look, look how many. And he actually he post more. Choose any one of them. And I want you to say that there's no way God will teach this. Who want to do that? That's all what I want you to do. Who is a Muslim? He have the courage to do that. I mean, do you see how simple it is? I don't want you to prove to me anything. I don't want you to debate with me. No, no, no. Just call, say, I chose it from those things which this Abdul, he posted. Uh, this one or that one or this, this one. Which one? Choose any. All what I want from you to say, that this is a teaching of Satan. If you say that, you are my hero. And leave the rest for me. Who want to do that? Any Muslim? Hello? Hello? You see, we are so, so, so sure that this is not something to be ashamed of. And you are so ashamed even to make the challenge. So why do you post it? Hmm? They are very ashamed. Do we have any Muslim? One of the posts of this man, you know, and the funny, the, the video there, showing how stupid really the teaching of Muhammad, he never answered anything. You know, like what about you, you answer us about what we are saying there, not about why you are posting something else. We have disasters there in this video. He did not see it. He, he don't care. He care only what is written in your Bible. Okay, here we go. No problem. You care only what is written in our Bible. Like here he says, when a woman discharge, if her discharge in her body is blood, she shall continue in her menstruation impurity for seven days. And suppose he's making fun now. And whoever touched her shall be any clean until evening everything also on which she lies during her menstruation impurity shall be any clean and everything in which she said shall be any clean hmm. he is saying which mean women are scum for seven days you see, first of all, you are a, you know you are not a decent person, because if you read, in the same book, you idiot. You will see that this is the goes for the man and the women. Any man, he is touching blood, he is any clean. 
you can go to chapter 17 read it from verse number 13 14 15 and because the women she have a menstruation so she cannot get rid of it until the menstruation is over for the man he is any clean and he is going to stay dirty according to the the, the, the Old Testament even if he took a shower so this is for the men and for the women so you are the scum who fabricate things however your prophet said that to women she will go to hell because she, she have ministration not only she is a, she, you're, you're, the women in Islam she is not a clean regardless if she is having period or not who wanna prove me wrong So while the Bible says the man and the women who touch a blood, they are any clean. In the same book. This is a chapter 15. Go to chapter 17 and you can read it. In Islam, the women, she is any clean. 24 hours all her life. Not only when she has... Her ministration. Who is a Muslim want to challenge me on that? Any Muslim? You see, by the way, I'm not. I'm not here answering the Muslims. I'm here teaching the Christians how to refute those stupid claims. You see, the Old Testament uh, speak about both. It's about the blood. It's not about the women or the man. So, if the man he touches the blood. If the women she touches a blood both are any clean this is not about women and anyone can post from the same book in the in the chat chapter 17 and I think it, it is number uh, I think it's 13 or 15. I'm just uh, trying to remember. I think maybe 15. You will see it's the same for the men and for the women. The different, the man, if he take a shower, if he wash himself, still he will be any clean until night. But this is just to teach people how to be clean and not to live a savage life. We are talking about thousands of years ago. We're like now you can you know, now you jump in the shower and you take a shower every five minutes if you want. In the Middle East and now there is people they don't take a shower every every fifteen or even a month because heating water and taking a shower is not easy and some places they don't even have enough water. So who is the Muslim want to stand behind this claim? Who is a Muslim? Who is willing to call me? This guy, he will never call me. He's a potato. The truth will prove. Well, as long as no Muslim will call me, I have to do my work. Shall we, guys? How many of you will promise me to take notes? How many of you will take notes for what the answer will be today? Uh, by the way, even the title is about slaves because he posted about slaves. So I made, I said, okay, you know, actually the Muslims are inspiring me, by the way, because sometimes I don't know what topic I will speak about today. Honestly, it's not me who chose a topic, it's the Muslims. So I'm very thankful for them. By answering the Muslims, we are educating the Christians and getting busting, getting Muhammad busted. And they are inspiring me what I will talk about today. Otherwise, I don't really... Uh, you know I don't know what I will talk about I mean it's not me really who decide what I will speak about it is the Muslims do you know that Muslims believe that if you touch women not in their period is the same as if you touch poopoo -poo? Let us go to the Quran. You know, we are not like those people who make things and we, you know, we cannot prove it.
Is that uh, your Quran or my Quran? Two things will make you not clean in Islam. Touching women and touching boop. Poop. Sorry. Is that me saying that? Or this is your Quran? Change the translation. Maybe the Muslims, they don't like this translator. Maybe this guy is taking the side of Christian prince. By the way, all Muslim translation is false. If you touch your poop, and if you touch women, you are any clean. Even if you are in a journey. So you are going in the bus. Okay, now it's time to pray. Well, you cannot pray because you you know your wife was sitting next to you and she she touched you. So two things will make your prayer invalid, and this is Quran. This is not Sahih Al Bukhari. So where is the Muslim who wanna call us and read for us the the Old Testament where it says the women she is in a clean for she have menstruation? Where is the Muslim when I do that? Do we have a Muslim? How many of us we took notes for this verse? Did we take notes? Now, this is, by the way, in two places in the Quran, not only in one place. Is that my translation? People? No. I can keep changing translation for you as much as you wish. Here we go. In front of your eyes. This is Muhammad Yusuf Ali. Let us go to Muhammad Shakir. Do you see it? If you come of doing poo poo and you touch women or you touch women, then you are unclean. Are you there, Muslims? Did your God, he put women next to the poo poo? Or this is a Christian prince making things up. Now, why the number are uh, slow today? We have a 372. Are we coming in the wrong time? What happened? Okay, that's mean this time is not good to do broadcast. Do we have any Muslim? He have a complaint? Is that only one mistake in the Quran or this is a teaching on this is a practice? This is a practice. This is what Muhammad he did. This is what Islam teach. And Muhammad even he says that three things will disturb a Muslim prayer will, will will make a Muslim prayer invalid without even touch Without even touch If a woman a Muslim woman talking now she walk in the front of a Abdul Or an or a donkey or a or a dog especially black black, black dog your prayer not accepted by Allah Is that me who's saying that or your prophet? Three things without touch. You see, this is not even touch now. We showed you the verses in the Quran where it says if you touch them, you are totally unclean. Now we see here that even if a woman walk by from far, your prayer is unclean because the man is holy, the woman is the same as you see according to Islam. She is the same as a dog or a donkey. Actually, Aisha, she got Muhammad and the Islam busted. Look what Aisha she said. She said in different hadith, you made us equal to dogs and donkeys. And she said the prophet, he used to pray and even he used to touch me when he is praying. Look at the hypocrite.
Do you see it? Aisha, she said, the things which annual prayer were mentioned before me, and those were a dog and a donkey and a woman. I said, you had compared us women to donkeys and dogs. Do you see it, Muslims? And she swear by Allah that the Prophet of Allah, he used to touch her legs when he is praying. He play with her. I can tell how much serious he is in his prayer. So outside the house, Muhammad, he said to Muslims, if a woman walk by, she will make you dirty. Okay? If she walk by, Allah will not accept your prayer. But he was touching Aisha and praying in her bed. Do you see it? He teach them something in the street. He do the opposite inside. How Allah, look, Aisha, she witnessed that Muhammad, he said he did that. The things which annual the prayer were mentioned before me. Okay. A dog and a donkey and a woman. I said you have compared us women to dog, donkeys and dogs. It's not them who compared you to dogs and donkeys. It's your your husband. And Muhammad, he used to put Aisha in the front of him, between him and the Kaaba, and he pray. He's looking at what when he's praying? He bowing down. Do you see it? Aisha, she is sitting be between him and between the Qibla. So he told his men something. He do something. The same when they have period. Muhammad, he told them in the Quran, when your woman, she have a period, don't have sex with her. But all over the Hadith, she says that the Prophet used to suck my tongue. The prophet, he used to play with me. The prophet, he ordered me to put a sheet between my legs and he used to fondle me. Is that true? So he tell the Muslim something. And he do totally something else. When I was menstruating, the Prophet Sawsaw uh, so would order me. Do, do you see the word order me? Uh, guys, do you see the word order me? Would order me to warp myself with a sheet. She put it like a diaper around her private part. And he would start fondling me. Do we have any Muslim have a comment? Isn't it the Quran says don't get close to your wives when you have when they have their period? Muslims, am I lying? Does the Quran says don't get close to your wives when they have their period? Any Muslim? Look at them. After we finish, we finish the video. The Muslims, they will say, they will post. Where are they now? Christian Prince, he go. Suddenly they are heroes and they post for us. But when we are here, nobody show up. Muslims, before I show the verse, is it true the Quran says stay away from women when they have their period? Do we have any Muslim in the chat when I say something? Already if we have many. Look, they are giving me dislikes, so there's no way they are not there. And they ask you about menstruation. Say, 
it is discomfort. Therefore, keep aloof from women in your menstrual discharge. And do not go near them until they have become clean. Did he say the word clean? Okay. Did Muhammad do that? Do we have any Muslim? Here you notice two things that Aisha, she is not doing that willingly. It says it clearly, he ordered me. This is all is order. Well, maybe now, according to the Hadith, Aisha, she got her period after she became 15 or 16. So this is in the last two years or three years of her life with Muhammad before he died. Because he died, she was almost 18. Any Muslim? You see, very clear sign of a hypocrite leader that he says something, and we are talking about the prophet now. He tell his followers to do something, he is the last one to follow it. If a woman walk by, she will make you clean. If you touch a woman, your, your prayer is not accepted because she is equal to dirt, as Muhammad said in the verse. Hmm? Do you see it? This is not my statement. If you touch poop and women, your prayer is not accepted. And this is located in two chapters in the Quran. Chapter 4, verse number 43, and chapter 5, verse number 6. So if you touch women, your prayer is not accepted. And Muhammad is touching Aisha when he's praying. And he told people that if your wife, she had ministration, don't even get a close to her. Not only not to touch her, don't even get a close. Read carefully. This is the Muslim translation. Therefore, keep aloof from women during the menstrual discharge and do not go near them. Guys, does it say that or Christian Prince is making things up? Do not even go near them until they have become clean. But look what Muhammad do. Who is a Muslim when I explain to us the hypocrisy and the madness of your religion? This is the this is the founder of Islam. If the founder of Islam is a scam, he says something, he do something. What about the rest? Anyone? Yeah, Aisha, she was zigzy. So Muhammad, he lose control. Actually, Muhammad, he compare Aisha as a favorite dish between all the dishes. You believe it? This is how much he respect women. He said that my Aisha is the like a thareed. A thareed is a kind of a dish. You know, the Arab, they eat. He said she is like a thareed. It's like, uh, you know, you have rice and some meat with it, like something delicious, supposedly. So this is like uh, a real food they eat only when they get, like, uh, wealthy. So he said that Aisha is like that dish for me. Imagine you compare yourself, your, your, your wife to, uh, like she is, uh, she is like uh, McDonald compared to Burger King. So you have many wives, and one of them, she is like McDonald for you. Muslims, am I lying? I can find the hadith. Who want to say you are a liar? Who is the Muslim want to say, Christian Prince, you are lying? Your prophet did not say that. The prophet never thought about women like a dish. A dish. Do you see it, Muslims? Yeah.
imagine you are so now saying something good about your wife let's say you have four wives god forbid you know we are let us say we became like those maniac who want to have many women just to for you know why a man when I have many they say to you that David in the Old Testament he was a king and he have hundreds of this is a king and he was disobeying God there's nowhere in the Bible says to him go and have many women and David was a crying for God asking for forgiveness and then we have a prophet saying that Aisha, she is superior for him. Superior in which way? She is his favorite dish. <laughs> Imagine you go between your friends and you say, you know, this is my wife. I met a lot of women. All of them, they were yummy. But my wife, she is the best McDonald. Hmm? How much respect Muhammad is claiming here that women are one of his women, she is the best dish. Is he eating her literally? What Muhammad was doing literally there? And the funny, the Muslims, when they translate, they don't even know how to translate the word athari. They don't know what the word means. They know it's a food. But they don't translate. Look, other than, I mean, what what the point of this translation without translate? Why why you don't translate the food? I eat Arabic dish. I mean, look at this. This guy is more clear. He says I eat Arabic dish. So Aisha is equal to an Arabic dish. Maybe we should change the topic today to talk about uh, women only from slavery. I was actually thinking to talk about slavery because he posts many things about slavery, but no problem. You know, we can all always take us all to the cube, the pagan cube in Mecca. Do we have any Muslim he oppose what we are saying? Any Muslim want to say something? So look what uh, we can get with conclusion here. Muhammad, he says, women are half a brain. Most of them, they will go to hellfire. And uh, the reason they will go to hellfire because they have menstruation. The guy complaining that in the Old Testament says that women is any clean because she have her menstruation. But the Old Testament says man is any clean if he touch blood too. So this is not only for the women, both of them, if they touch, if they touch or even eat, something has a blood. But you're a prophet, not only saying women are clean if they have menstruation, you're a prophet claiming that women, they are equal to the dirt of a human being. And the Quran is in the front of you. Any Muslim have a comment? Anyone? May they, may they. So you, you people are heroes in posting, copy, paste, and run? Who is a Muslim proud about the prophet behavior? Ordering Aisha to put a sheet between her legs when she have her ministration time, and he fondled her. Do you Muslims fondle your wife when she have her period? I remember Aisha, she is not the only wife for Muhammad. So why Muhammad is doing that? You see, if Muhammad was a Christian man, he have only one wife. And let us say this guy, he cannot control himself no more, which is not really an excuse. But we will, we will assume. 
But Muhammad, he have hundreds of six slaves and 13 wives. So why he is ordering this one when she have her period? Go to different women. Any Abdul? This woman, she have her period. Go to the other one. Yeah, keep the asking the stars to call me. Keep dreaming. Those who stars, they will destroy their career if they call me. All those who claim, look, look. Do you notice that the Muslims they want to debate only American and I say American I am an American too but I mean like someone is born in America he don't speak in Arabic he's not an Arab uh, I mean they, they they fight over the you know like all of them look at them but but nobody get close to me because they knew they are no match they knew that they are a fraud. You see, I just said, okay, this guy, he posts for us something in YouTube. Oh, look how many lists. Look at the list of things from the Bible. Who is willing to call and say, I challenge you to be proud about this? Any of them, or what I want you to say, that this is absolutely satanic. So if I show you from the Quran, what is something? will make you ashamed with the same topic. That's mean Islam is satanic. And we cannot compare actually between the Bible and this uh, an Islamic teaching. Look, look how many verses he posts for us. But you don't care to call. Call and you know call and ask me about any of them. Just say this is satanic. Anyone who teach this is satanic and leave the rest for me. But because they knew that I know Islam in and out, we will, we will explain the Bible and show them how stupid what they claim. Like, you know, like here he says, rape, uh, rape women is allowed. Where it says in the Bible, rape women. You are a big fat liar. People, they can't go and read it. Chopping the hand of a woman. If a woman try to help her husband in a fight, well, this is not the reason that the woman she her hand will she will be punished but because she hold his the balls of a strange man which will give her advantage for her husband to kill the man so she is the reason to kill a man in not a fair fight so are you saying muslims your wife if i have a fight with a muslim your wife she can hold my uh, it's okay in islam the jewish are very conservative people what kind of a woman she will hold the, the testicles of a man to help her husband? Did Aisha hold the testicle of the man who attacked your prophet? Hmm? This is about fair fight, a fight between two men. Why the women? She is holding the testicles of the other man. She must be a very horrible bad woman. What the testicles? Who is a Muslim when I call us? Here we go. All those verses in front of you. Make a challenge. But potatoes didn't dare. Look, he's calling names here. I can see that you have been trained, uh, a CP, you trained your pigs. And don't talk about pigs. Pigs are very useful animals. If, you, if not pigs, millions of Muslims will die. And this is additional proof that Allah is a false God. What kind of God? He make the pig an enemy to him. Have you ever heard of a stupid, silly God like this before?
a pig. I mean, come on. We have supposed to someone who is Almighty God. And who is the enemy of the Almighty God? A pig. But you know, we have to admit, um, he chose the right enemy. According to Islam, Allah will send the Isa, which is the Muslim prophet, which supposedly is Jesus, which is funny, we do not know who is Isa, and he will come and he will challenge the pig, he pig. And then Isa will turn his back and the pig would turn his back and we will hear cowboy music and whistle. And then they will draw their guns and then Isa will shoot the pig. Takbir Allahu Akbar, Takbir Allahu Akbar. I mean, what kind of a victory and what kind of a city God he claims such a fight will happen. And by killing the pig, Allah became victorious. Have you ever heard of such a God? Hey Muslims, anyone can tell me what the problem between Allah and Mr. Pig? Any Muslim? Who is the who is the cute Muslim? He wanna tell us what is the problem between Allah and the pig? Okay, in the Old Testament it says pigs are unclean, but we knew why. In Islam it says pigs are unclean. Okay, Muhammad copying the Jews, we knew that. But why Allah will send the Messiah to kill the pig? Hello? Anyone? If you are new in our channel, don't forget to subscribe because we give Bitcoin at the end of the broadcast. By the way, pigs are very useful animals. And the Bible speaks about the pigs because at that time, pigs, I mean, until now, if you give the pig any food, they will eat it. Uh, but there's a huge difference between before pigs they eat from the field anything including even dead people dead animals and they can bring a lot of very harmful diseases that's why if you if you hunt a, a wild pig you are really uh, risking from eat, by eating from the meat of the pig because you don't know what he ate he might eat an, uh, a dead animal who is infected with some diseases so forbidding the the meat of the the pig was for a reason but as usual muhammad copied from the jews and he put it in the quran but we do not know why i mean what okay, and then we find that the thing is not about just eating the pig it's about allah became the enemy of the pig which is showing me that muhammad is really a very silly man who is a muslim I tell us what is really reason that isa will fight the pig allah will send the isa in a war against the pig and he will kill the pig like you will be watching the news that isa come from the sky and then suddenly uh, a news banner will appear saying breaking the news breaking breaking the news Trump announced uh, President Trump he converted to Islam and he announced war on the pigs. Takbir. What? What? Are we talking about God or we are talking about a falafel store? I mean, imagine how silly Trump will be, and he is just a human being, normally a human being. But as a president, he announced war in pigs. We are talking about God.
Any Muslim have a solution for this? Look in the news. It's speaking about the French Zoo. Do you think in the French Zoo they have uh, they have a pig? Uh, the Muslims will be offended. I mean, what kind of religion a pig will offend you? I mean, this religion is offended by anything. If you wear clothes they don't like, you are offending them. If you have a cross, you offend them. If you eat pork, you offend them. If you play music, you offend them. By the way, they do all those things. I Before I go live, I was watching some Egyptian videos about what's happening in Egypt. Muslim sheikhs, they could not say two sentences together without saying the F word. Filthy words. Fil the most filthy language ever you can imagine. But they are sheikhs. They are Muslim Brotherhood. And then I say Alhamdulillah, and before they start the video, Bismillah al-Rahman al-Rahim, Alhamdulillah al alamin. Look, you, you think that this guy is going to speak Hornets? Two minutes after, this if president, and this is the if government, and we are going to uh, do this to your mother, and we are going, look, what happened? They are the same as their prophet. Do we have any Muslim? Well, Muhammad, he is a filthy man. You know, Muhammad, he says, if somebody is proud about his inheritance, tell him to go and buy the private part of his father. I mean, I'm trying to be polite, not to say the word, but you know what the word is. Literally, bite it. The Muslim, they try to cover the stupidity and the filth of their prophet. So look what they, how they translate the hadith. <laughs> <sighs> I'm not going to stay long today because I have a little headache. I did not sleep good yesterday. I was worried about my pig. Somebody will kidnap my pig, kill my pig. Look at this. The Muslim to cover the shame and the filth of, filthy mouth of their prophet. He said, if someone consoles people in the way people canceled each other in the day of Jahiliyyah, then bite him. Like what? The prophet say bite him? You're a prophet. He said to you Muslims, if somebody is a proud about his heritage before Islam, bite him? When it says that? You must then bite people if some if somebody says something wrong, you bite him. This is the Muslim translation, not my translation. Bite him. Wait, what? what? Come on, don't is, is, prophet, don't do that. Bite him. It doesn't say that. It says tell him to bite the I don't want to say the word. Bite the private part of your father. Where is the word father? It's gone. What happened? Here we go, the hadith in the front of in Arabic. You must know what's happened. Why you are changing the translation? It says in Arabic, This is Islam, my friend. Muhammad is a very filthy man. What about Umar al Khattab? Umar al Khattab, he said to, you know, you know, they speak always filthy language. He said to a man, the following. Let us see. We need to find it.
Here we go. Anyone who speak Arabic can read with me. فقال له أبو بكر امصص بذرات. Who is a Muslim? He speak Arabic. He can tell me what does that mean before we go to English. امصص بذرات. Do you know what is that? Suck the clitoris of a lot. Am I lying, Muslims? This is the caliphate, the best friend of the prophet. And the prophet, he says, if I have a prophet after me, he will be Omar. And Abu Bakr later, he became, and Abu Bakr, he became a caliphate too. And this is Abu Bakr now talking. There's a hadith about Omar. Let me see. Where is the translation for suck? Uh, I don't see it. Anyone see it in English? Translation for when he said to him, suck the clitoris. I will post the link there, guys. You know, if, if, if you find it, tell me which line in English so we can show it because I don't see it in English. Who in the world want to believe in such a garbage religion? A prophet saying, go and buy the private part of your father. Is that, is that how people speak? And what does that mean? The caliphate, he said to a man, go and suck the clitoris of a lad. A lad is a statue of a female, one of the three daughters of Allah. By the way, Muhammad, he believed that Allah is not a status. Muhammad, he believed that Allah and Al-Uzza and Manad, they are three daughters for real. And even he sent his man, Khadu Walid, to kill, and he killed Al-Uzza, one of the daughters of Allah. And she was a woman with dark skin and black hair. Anyone saw the line where it says? Where it says that in the link? Because I didn't see it. Anyone was able to uh, to find where he says to him, suck the... The word suck is not there. So maybe they use different word. Yeah, obviously, they hide in it. Okay, which where, where the word lat appear? Do you see the word lat? Is a lat appearing? Anyone see it? Because it should be next to the lat. They took it out, right? Yeah. This is why it's very important. You see, this is what we do is extremely important because people who don't speak Arabic, and not only speak Arabic, they have to speak really good Arabic. Otherwise, Muslims, they will hide the truth from you. So look, they took a lot off and sucked the clitoris of a lot is gone. The whole sentence is gone. And here we go. I changed any Muslim to say I am not telling the truth. Here we go. فَقَالَ لَهُ أَبُو بَكَرْ You know what? I will open the dictionary. Give me a second. And I will take the word bother and I will post it in the dictionary in front of you so you will see what this word means. Hold on. Let me open the dictionary. All right. We open the dictionary. We go to the hadith. I will copy the word in the front of your eyes. You see? Copy, paste. You do not need to speak really Arabic. Just remember how the look of the word look like. So it should be exactly the same. You can take a snapshot. Exactly the same as the word we will post in the dictionary. And the dictionary is owned by who? This is an Islamic dictionary, not mine. Here we go. As we copy, we paste. 
and now search hmm. what is the meaning do you see it people why this is, is gone they took it off I mean how they would translate that how they can fool people and make you convert to Islam if they translate that I just made copy paste in the front of your eyes This is Islam and this is what they teach nothing from my pocket And then they say to you Islam is a wonderful religion Islam is the biggest scam ever in the history of mankind How many of you are first time here in the chat? Yeah, the word declares is exist back then. Why is not a part that, that part wasn't exist at that time? <laughs> that part was not exist at that time. This is it have an Arabic name for it, equal to this word in English. Are you saying at that time women they don't have it and now they, they, they grow one? <laughs> People are funny. If you are first time here, don't forget to subscribe. I'm actually I'm going to change this uh, the title because we did not talk about slavery. Look, we will talk about it uh, some other time maybe. But as you see, my friend, please use a, don't use a bad language in the chat. Otherwise, we have to block you. Uh, but as you see, you see here we use a we use a language because we have to. We are not speaking dirty, so please maintain your mouth. We are not speaking filthy language. We are speaking in an academic way. We read what we see, and we are talking about someone he claimed to be prophet of God, and that's why we are reading his statements or his uh, uh, this his his uh, his uh, uh, caliphate statements. So we are not using such a language. I'm not saying this word because for no reason. This is for education purpose. By the way, for those who speak German, uh, my book uh, Six and Allah is already in German in Amazon Germany and Amazon.com. And maybe in the coming three days, four days, we will have our book translation for six and Allah in the Dutch language house too. Do we have any Muslim have a comment? Any Muslim? Shalom to you, my friend. Are you a young man? Well, I am young or not, but uh, let me tell you the truth. I was old since I was a kid. It's hard to explain. When I was very, very, like child age, I remember my dad, he found a book in the table. He said, who is reading this book? It's called a jahiz And you can ask anyone. I mean, this is a very complicated book for kids. Even adult, they cannot handle it. I said me he started laughing like crazy <laughs> I said you read this <laughs> I said yeah <laughs> I said you <laughs> I said yeah <laughs> so he asked me to open it the, the book he said okay read for me you could not even believe that I can read really that good since a very young age and he started asking me okay what he's saying what do you understand and you know, so since I was a kid, I have a huge library. I all my saving go for books. 
I used to go and walk almost 45 minutes, walking, walking, not taking a bus in the heat of the sun just to go to a library. And then in the library, they will not let me get in because this is a library not for children. So what I do, I wait until an adult is coming and I walk next to him as if I am his son. And the guy who is the guard, when he see me coming with an adult, eh, he say nothing. And the guy I'm walking next to him, he look at me like, why this kid is walking next to me? <laughs> like, why this, why this kid is walking next to me? So I walk next to him, and I have now to sit in the table next to this guy. This guy, he does not know why this guy, why, why this kid is following me. And I cannot go and ask for a book. But what people do, after finishing reading books, they leave them in the table. So I grab anything in front of me. Anything in the table, I grab it and I start reading it. And this is how we learn. So my friend, I'm not going to stay today for long. As I told you, I have a little uh, headache and did not sleep good uh, last night. So Islam is a very easy, stupid cult to defeat. Very easy. But if you are an ignorant, I mean, anything can defeat you. You see people, they were dying because uh, of a stupid flu by millions. Not only in Africa, in Europe, everywhere. Flu. The flu was the biggest killing disease in the history of mankind millions hundreds of millions die because of a flu today you can fight the flu very easy ignorance my friend ignorance is our problem today as we speak tens of millions of people die because of cancer time will come and they will find a solution for cancer and you will see how easy the solution is ignorance a little virus can take you down. Tiny, you cannot even see it. And Islam is no better. The difference is Islam try to be a hiding danger by hiding behind the Arabic language, which you do not understand. But the good news is there's a lot of people who speak Arabic. And you can learn it too. And then you will see how stupid this cult is. It's the most stupid, ugly cult ever in history. It doesn't matter how much money they spend. You see, we have the biggest budget in the world to spread Islam. If you go right now and check how much Saudi Arabia they spend every month to spread Islam, you will not believe it. The Prince of Qatar. Building mosque everywhere, sending Quran, which is a fast translation. They spend giving scholarship. Do you know that if you convert to Islam, you get allowance? Most of those who convert into Islam, especially in jail, they convert to get the allowance. There's a monthly allowance they will get if they convert to Islam. Who is paying for this allowance? This guy is in jail. He have his wife or etc. He didn't can't pay for rent, and now he's in jail. Okay, I convert to Islam. They will send eight hundred or one thousand dollar for my wife every month. This is how they try to spread Islam. The second, the money gone, everything is gone. When the oil is gone, Islam is bye bye. And actually, you now Islam have a lot of oil still, but still in the in the mood of bye bye. And the only way to to make Islam stay is to force people not to leave Islam. If you leave Islam, they will kill you. If you take the Bible to Saudi Arabia, you will be arrested and you will be killed. This is the only way to protect Islam. Making law it says you cannot leave Islam. So how this? What you cannot leave Islam? That's it. Because they knew that this religion needed protection. It cannot survive if we let it free. 
if we let all the society free, anyone believe in what, whatever he wants. And this is why now they are having a very, very big problems in Morocco, in Tunisia, in many countries in the Islamic world. Because the, 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 the Muslim population is changing so fast. Changing to refuse Islam. Just uh, three, four weeks ago, the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia announced that Muslim women, she can leave without permission of her husband or her father. Do you know what does that mean? That means Islam is gone in Saudi Arabia. This is the start. That's it. Holding women as captive is to hold Islam stay strong. Because by giving the most weak person in the society, in Islamic society, I'm talking about, a right to leave without permission of a parent or a father or a husband, you just freed 50% of the society. And that will make a revolution and Islam will collapse. Ibrahim Muhammad, he is saying, Jesus had slaves. Okay, Ibrahim, you are a smart person. Can you give me the name of the space, the slave, and where, where is that? Guys, we have a smart Abdul. His name, Ibrahim Muhammad. He said, Jesus had slaves. Muhammad, either you, pro you give me the proof or you are a liar. Is that fair, guys? Either you provide us with the proof or I'm going to call you a liar. I'm waiting for you. Where are you, Ibrahim? Don't play dead now. It's not right to play dead. People are watching. People, do you want Mr. Ibrahim to provide the evidence that Jesus has slaves or had slaves? Don't you want to see that? I want to see that. So Ibrahim was a liar. Was he? Anyone will speak city talk in the chat. I'm going to block you. Just a warning. This is not a place for kids. This is a place for adult. So, Mr. Ibrahim, are you going to give us the reference or you play dead? Mr. Ibrahim is officially a liar. He is a certified liar unless he proves us wrong. Mr. Ibrahim, please come to the stage so I can give you your certificate signed by Allah. The Dean of the Lying School. What do you mean let him go? We are here to get them busted. You are telling me let, let, let him go? <laughs> so you see this is what they do they they post something they think nobody will notice what they post except like somebody we can, we can fool them people will see like Jesus have slaves and then people will believe it but when you challenge them to prove what you just said uh, I, I'm, I'm thinking maybe he is searching Google 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 where are you Muhammad Abdul looking for you can you please, please help me? Shame on Muhammad, shame on you. Go, 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 where are you? Abdul is searching for you. Hello? Eh, I mean, I'm not really surprised. You are a person who believes that the sperm of the man came in from the backbone. So what to expect? Hmm? The sperm of the man is coming from the backbone. 
Backbone, backbone, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when I come for you? Backbone, backbone, backbone. I mean, what happened to your God? How in the world the backbone is where the sperm is coming from? Look like your God, he never heard of something called testicles? I always, uh, you know, after, after I learned the science of Allah, I start asking myself, why men they have testicles? Why we men we have testicles? Maybe it's a, like a makeup or decoration or something. Maybe it was like a light for a Christmas time, maybe. So the sperm coming from the backbone? Are you sure? Uh, uh, are you? A brother, a brother, I may name it Dr. Dakanaik, and I speak science. I am a doctor, and I'm going to prove to you that if a human being has a sperm coming from the backbone. What? Are you sure? <laughs> oh boy. I mean, this religion, wherever you go, you will die laughing. It's a comedy. It, it is sad and comedy in the same time. I don't know what to call it. This is a God teaching. I mean, don't you think this God teaching is so much teaching? Hilarious teaching. Let us open Ibn Kathir and read the knowledge of Allah. By the way, you see, uh, what Muslims, they... Uh, they recite Quran words, etc. They make like an echo for the sound. Um, like they do this, like Bismillah Rahman Rahim, Reem, Reem, Reem. Alhamdulillah, Hilay, Rahman, Rahim, Rahim, Rahim. They have software, you know, there's software you can download from the internet, make an echo to your sound. They love echo. The Prophet of Allah, 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 he said, say it, say it, say it, say it, say it. It's because supposedly, supposedly, if I say that in that way, that will make me holy, lowly, 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 lowly. And will make my words strong and make them full of wisdom. Dumb, 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 dumb. I, there's no wisdom there. I find dumb only. Dumb, dumb, dumb. They love it, love it, love it. Proceeding from between the backbone, bone, bone, and the ribs, 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 ribs. Ribs, backbone, the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women, 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 women. And you are asking Christian Prince, 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 why he is not married yet, 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 yet. Don't you see it, brother and sister, sister, sister? Imagine you marry a woman, you take her to the bedroom, she take off her bra and you find no breast there, you find testicles, testicles, testicles. Women have a breast testicles these days. This is the wise God. He said that women, she have a breast testicles and the man have a sperm coming from the back. Boom, 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 boom. Don't you think this is too much? Touch, 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 touch. Where, what happened to Ibrahim? Him, 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 him. I think he lost his direction. Shen, shen, shen. Ching ho, ching yu ho. This is a Chinese guy taking shahada, but you don't know what Islam is about. Anyone? This is religion and this is God. So, my friend, you add echo, you don't add echo. Islam is silly. Just face it. The God who teach beating your wife. Obviously, he's an idiot. I mean, beating your wife will not make your wife love you, and will make your will not make your life better. Trust me, your wife she will cheat on you. You beat her, you go, Bing, hello. She will see somebody in Facebook. My husband he beat me. Why well, you stay with him? Come with me. Let us meet tonight, okay? I will treat you like a princess, huh? There's a Abdul in Saudi Arabia. He locked the doors, the windows. He don't let his wife speak to anyone unless he is there at home. No phone. So 
for almost six months there is a lady she come to the house and she is wearing a burqa as usual all of them they have to wear burqa she knock at the door she don't talk because she, she cannot talk to a man she's a woman the guy he opened the door he's called his wife my wife your friend is here waiting for you take her to your room six months and the Abdul, he is very kind. He make for them tea and coffee and he leave the coffee next to the door and he bring fruits even next to the door. He knock at the door of the bedroom. Uh, my wife, uh, the fruit is here. Uh, the tea is here. Huh? Okay. Because he's not allowed to get in. Haram. Haram. After almost six months, his sister, she came to visit him. And the guy, he said, well, go to my wife. She is in her room with her friend. The sister, because she is a woman, she can get in. She got in, she found the woman with her boyfriend. Backbone, backbone, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when I come for you? Backbone, backbone. You see the benefit of burqa? By the help of the burqa, you can go to the house of somebody, sleep with his wife, and he will make you coffee and tea, and he will give you fruit and ice cream. It is a man. Yeah, he's coming to see her, sleeping with her for six months. And he come only with the husband. The guy is so proud. My wife, she never let anyone get in unless I'm home. He's proud about her. Saudi Arabia is a very conservative society. So the Saudi, they started a limousine business, became very, very big business. Nobody understand why this business was growing so fast. But look what's, what's, what's happening. They bring women and boys, blonde, from Al Bosnia, most of them. And they, uh, in the limousine, like a woman, she called for a limousine. They ask her, what do you want the color of the seat? Blue, black blonde they are talking about boys so what they do they call for limousine it's a limousine and the family and what they will notice i mean it's just a limousine so she go in the back seat and there is a guy waiting for her and then the driver would drive so slow before he you arrive to the second destination so she did nothing wrong she just took well, she jumped in the taxi from here and uh, she came out there and later they found that the limousine is a prostitution company they load in the back of the car a prostitute. I am lying. Okay, hold on, hold on, guys. Muhammad Al Qasim, he said, I am lying. Muhammad Al Qasim, let us not to go far. Did Aisha, was Aisha accused that she was a prostitute too? Muhammad, did the Muslims accuse Aisha she was sleeping around? I challenge you to say no. Muhammad, don't play dead now. Is it true that Aisha, she was accused by Muslims that she is sleeping around? Muhammad, are you there? You said I am liar, right? I'm here we go. I'm giving you even your prophet. The most honorable person in Islam, his wife, accused by a Muslim that she is a prostitute. Am I am truthful or I'm lying? Are you there? Hello. <laughs> okay. So, uh, Muhammad, do you like to call me so we can read together what Aisha she did with a guy? His name is Safwan. Mr. Muhammad, what happened? 
are you willing to call me and to challenge me to show you what Aisha she did and not only that Aisha she decorated girls to hunt young men from Quraysh is that a true Mr. Muhammad let me find the hadith they will not call me which is a clear proof who is Aisha what kind of a prophet wife she decorated which means she made her slaves has makeup in their face and perfume and she sent them in the street so she can hunt young men from Quraysh Who is the Muslim will say to me I'm lying who want to make a challenge the accusation guys the accusation was adultery isn't it adultery uh, guys the accusation was adultery not prostitution <laughs> that's a good one okay no it was prostitution and here we go I'm willing to show you the hadith as we speak. What do you say? Hmm? In the front of everybody. What do you say? Yes or no? What happened to Muhammad? Who is a Muslim when I call me? And I will show you the hadith where the Muslim they claim and they say the Muslims, not the Christian, not the Jews, that Aisha she used to decorate women slaves and she sent them to hunt for young men from the tribe of Quraysh. Where the hadith? The hadith is coming. Just wait. Do you, don't you want to have some action first? I mean, that's it. Just with the hadith. Just uh, have a uh, patient. <laughs> Who is a Muslim when I call me and he will read the hadith for us? Muhammad, why you don't call me, my friend? You say this was not a prostitution, it's about adultery. So you admitted that she was accused of adultery. That's wonderful. Okay, what else? Did she send girls who they are slaves, so men, they will follow them and come to her house? And this is from the mouth of Aisha. Anyone? Hello? Let me see if I can find the hadith in English first. They are not posting it in this website, but it's okay. No problem. Never give up. Ooh. Maybe we got something here at the sea. Uh, no. Not in this, so I cannot find it in the English website, but it doesn't matter. Any Muslim who speak Arabic, you call me right now and I will make you read it. If not, I have to use Google Translation. Is that fair, guys? No. 
who was a Muslim would like to call me and he make a challenge that Aisha she used to do prostitution actually I have videos in YouTube saying that made by Muslims Imam anyone All right. This is which 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 website is that? Which website? Al Maktab Al Islamia, Islamweb. dot net. One of the biggest library. I think this is sponsored by the Prince of Qatar, the government of Qatar. Does it say? in this website in the front of us that Aisha she decorated women so she can hunt some young handsome men from Quraysh who is the Muslim wanna call me and get me busted mayday mayday a buster is needed who is a Muslim want to call me and get me busted and say, okay, you know what? It doesn't say that. You know what? What I can do? I mean, I have to change uh, switch to English. I mean, we cannot wait. There's no Muslim will call us or whatever. Translate to English. We cannot find it in English, but actually, you know what? I think I can find it in English from website, but I was searching in Arabic. But anyway, uh, let us do this Google first and then. All right. <clears throat> Where is the hadith? Uh -huh. What happened to the hadith? There is something wrong with the page. There is a hadith here is gone in the translation process. You see in the Arabic there is number one or maybe it's merging them together hold on all right I think it's merging them together all right uh, so this is should be uh, number four okay number four where is number four here I think here from 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 here so Aisha that she show she she show off she's, she's not so uh, I mean translation is really horrible she saw some girls so she can hunt some youth of Quraysh <laughs> I mean the translation is horrible but it's okay <laughs> Is that true or lying, Muslims? You know what? I'm not really convinced with this translation. I'm not going to give up. Hold on. Give me a second. I'm going to find you the hadith translated by Muslims in English. And the promise only by Muslims. I'm not going to accept any other translation. Just give me a minute. Let me search for Islamic translation for the story. Uh, let us search this Hadith Aisha decorating. Slave girls. I'm just, uh, you know, searching English. Um, hmm.
I don't want to show it only from um, from Google Translation. Having a hard time to find it in English. Uh, let me see in uh, YouTube <laughs> what we can do. I mean, <laughs> uh, I think we will find it in YouTube. There's many videos uh, speaking about this story. Let us see. Here we go. All those videos, all those videos talking about Aisha hunting young men from Quraysh. Do you see it? Those are Shia and Sunni. Those are not Shia alone. Those are Shia and Sunni Sheikh. Aisha Tastad wa Turdi'u al-Shabab. Who is the one who's talking? Aisha, she is hunting and suckling from her breast men, young men. Is that my video? Is that a Christian prince talking? Let me post the link for all those videos. And maybe somebody can search in YouTube for videos about this story. Like, just search Aisha. Let me see if I can find... Let me post first the, the video in Arabic here, and then I will uh, I will search for uh, a Muslim. He wanted to call me. Okay, hold on. We found there's a Muslim want to call me. All right. <laughs> All right. His name is Ar Arwa Prophet. What does that mean? Okay. He's a prophet, this guy. He's a Muslim prophet. Let us see who is this guy. <laughs> Answer, please. If you will not answer and you are not ready to talk to me, why are you, why are you asking me to talk to you? Let us see if we can find the video in English. Oh, he's calling back. Okay. Hello? Only if you will not answer, and you are not ready to Mute YouTube, please. Mute YouTube. Hello, friend. How are you? I hear you. Go ahead. What do you want to say to us? Yeah, please. Um, Let us see. Mute YouTube, please. If we can find the video. Okay, okay. I'll mute YouTube. In English. He's calling back. All right. Can you hear me? Yeah, I do. Go ahead. Show me one Quran verse that uh, shows Muhammad own a slave. One Quran verse, Muhammad own slave? Yes. Okay, if I show you what you would do. Well, then you prove yourself to be correct. All right. So you think the Quran never say Muhammad have a slave?
Is that what you think? Say that again. So you think that Muhammad in the Quran never owned slave according to the Quran? He never the Quran never said that. This is why you are sure. Yeah. You are sure, right? Okay. Read for me this verse. Chapter 33, verse number 50. Read, read. I want to hear you. You know, I like to hear Quran. I enjoy Quran. Oh, well, what's happening? Can you put the Arabic? You read it in Arabic, here we go. I mean, I, people, they are listening to me in English. You read it in Arabic, no problem. You speak Arabic, supposedly? Yeah, I can speak Arabic. Okay, go ahead. Go back to the Arabic version. It's in Arabic already, and you do not need to show me. I mean, open your Quran. Don't you have a Quran at home? Do you need to call a friend or somebody? Yeah, can you translate it, please? What my malakat yaminik? Don't tell me can't you translate. You say to me, show me one verse in the Quran saying Muhammad have his slaves, and here we go. This is your Muslim. This is your Muslim translation saying, whom your right hand possess. One second, let me find this hmm. one. Which verse this one? What's wrong with you? How many times I had to repeat? So you are reading and you are opening the Quran and you do not know what verse yet. I told you chapter 33 verse number 50. Relax. Don't be nervous. Chapter, it's okay. Allah will send you to support you. Are you there, my friend? So look what happened. You were so excited. You want to call me. You are desperate to prove to me because you never heard that the Quran saying Muhammad has the slaves. This has happened because you are not talking to someone like me. Don't challenge Christian Prince. So now you're a prophet. He owns slaves. And not only he owned them, he kidnapped them from their families. So what do you want to say to us? Is it correct? You have some friends there helping him. Three, four people still they can't answer. How's that? Jibri can't answer. Read the Arabic again. Mm. Shall I go and take a shower and come back? I mean, what happened? The verse is small. Come on, tell us something. What do you want to say? So we see the Arabic again. I showed you the Arabic, and then you asked me to go to the English, and now you say me the Arabic. What's wrong with you? I mean, I give you the verse. You have the book. Tell us what do you think. I'll call you back in two minutes. Oh, you want to call me back? Where, where are you going? I have four wives waiting for me.
I mean, 13. Two minutes, two minutes. With two minutes, where you gonna, where you wanna go? Are you with me? Are you are asking me, am I yes. with you? I am sleeping already. I'm waiting for you. Yeah, go ahead. All right. You understand, uh, you understand Arabic, yeah? So if I say this in uh, in Arabic, so uh, you No, I understand. don't understand Arabic. Yes. Speak in English. You call me in English, I, speak in English. We are an English program. I want I, people to hear you. I want people to hear your answer. You yeah, call me. I, you call I, me. I you, you ask me the question in English. So you oh, need right. to answer oh. first in right. English, please. We are talking right now about Quran, and Quran is revealed in Arabic language, and and to translate. It doesn't matter. Okay, the Quran is in Arabic. The Quran is in Arabic, and the translation yes, made by Arabic. Muslim in the front of us. So Stop speak, playing games. If you speak Arabic, if if you speak Arabic, I am going. I'm going to tell you exactly what does that. Mean I, maybe Arabic. I don't speak Arabic. What's wrong with you? you? Maybe I don't. But my Arabic is very weak. The only the Arabic word I know is Bismillah al al Rahim. So what? This is not a, you know. Not a, no, 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 no. I'm I'm going. I'm 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 going to explain exactly what uh, what is written over there in in Arabic language. Hmm. What is written there in Arabic language? Go ahead. All right. Okay. The meaning of this ayah. Hmm. Yeah. يقول تعالى يقول الله تعالى مخاطبا النبي يا بأنه قد أحل له من النساء أزواجه التي أعطاهن مهورهن. You know what the meaning of مهورهن. وهي الأجور ها هنا كما قال مجاهدا وغير واحد. وقد كان مهر وقد كان مهره لنسائه اثنتي عشر وقية وإنش. What does this have to do with my topic? What does have to do with my topic? Read for us what it says. His right hand possess. Okay. وما ملكت يمينه وما ملكت يمينه. Which is your right hand possesses. Yeah. Wonderful. What does that mean? What does that mean? That means that means أي ما أباح لك مما أخذت من المغانم المغانم which is what you have. Get it from if from the war you won. Okay, so so are they are those our slaves? Are those our slaves? No, 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 no. Maganim, maganim. What does what does maganim mean? Maganim. If if you know. Okay, are they are the TV? So 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 you are are you saying that your prophet is allowed to have sex with the TV? Is that a maganim? Is that a woman or it is a TV? Maganim, it's a uh, maganim. Anything can be maganim. What it, it is? It, no, what it is? No, 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 no. Let's listen. Okay. Let me let okay. me let, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Have you ever heard? Have you ever, okay? Let me ask you what interpretation you are, you are reading from. Excuse me, what interpretation book you are reading from? I'm telling you the sharah of, uh, of the ayah. Okay, from which interpretation? <laughs> what is the name? What? The Sharah, the Sharah. What is the name of the interpretation? What is the scholar? What is name? The, the scholar of this one? Hmm. What Ibn happened? Kathir. Ibn Kathir, that's wonderful. Okay, guys, did he say Ibn no, Kathir? No, hang on, hang on, hang on, hold on, hold on. No. Okay, you chose Ibn no, Kathir. That's it. We will go to Ibn Kathir. We will not waste time. Here we go. I will go to Ibn not, Kathir. It's not Ibn Kathir. My it's friend, Ibn no problem. Is Ibn Kathir is good for you or not? Is no, Ibn... sorry. It's, it's the Sha'rawi. It's the Sha'rawi. Okay, is Ibn Kathir good for you or not? No, Sha'rawi. Go to Sha'rawi. I'm asking you, is Ibn Kathir is good for you or not? It, de it depends what Ibn Kathir you have. If if it's the Ibn Kathir Shia version of, or it is the Ibn original Kathir Ibn Shia version. I never heard of Ibn Kathir Shia version. Ibn Kathir is a Muslim Sunni. Of course. Yeah. No, 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 no. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. On the internet, there is. Uh, uh, yeah, 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 was Bilal a slave of the Prophet of Allah or not? No, 
No. <laughs> no. Okay. Was Ma that? was Mary the cooked a slave? Was Mary the cooked? Was Mary the well, listen? You was Mary have, was Mary the cooked a slave have, of the Prophet of Allah? Have, yes or no? You have you have no true evidence of what you are saying. Well, I just showed you. It Show says okay. Everybody will see. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. In the front of us. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on Abdul, Abdul. Listen, listen. Okay, this is your Muslim translation. It says they are saying those are. Uh, but, but those but okay listen listen the translation in front of you it says those who they are the prisoners of war it's in the front of you even your muslim got you busted with your lies it says the prisoners of war is the tv a prisoner yeah, of war yeah, of course the prisoners of war and the prophet muhammad with the presence of war he he offered them to t anyone any one of them can uh, can read and uh, can uh, can write and read to teach muslim people and then he will get his but freedom you, but the that verse here is speaking about war. having sex with them this verse here is speaking about having sex it's lawful for you okay, what about your wives about about Listen, Bilal. you said to me, you okay. challenged me, so you agreed now. Bilal. So you agree. So you agree. Uh, you ag okay, hold on. So one by one, we will go to Bilal. So you agreed that you're a prophet. He owned slave girls. Yes or no? Let me ask you. Did you a prophet? He owned slave girls. Yes or no? Either you say yes. It says that they are captive of war, or you say no. You mentioned Bilal. I, I will show you Bilal. I'm asking you before we change. Before we go. Before we go to Bilal. Did your prophet own slaves from war and they are women and he raped them? Yes or no? Show us your proof for Bilal. It's in the front of you. What Bilal? Bilal, he did not rape him yet. He raped women. Now we're talking about women. I showed you because you said to me, show me Quran. So now this is the Quran. Then I will go to the Hadith of Bilal. Hmm? What happened? Bilal. Hmm. Yeah, Bilal. So? Did your prophet own girls and he sleep with them? Yes or no? Here we go. You said to me you are reading Tafsir al Sharawi, right? Okay, here we go. This is a Sharawi, and the Sharawi getting you busted. Why you are lying? Are you there? You said yes. to me you are reading a Sharawi. It says, Inna milk al Yamin, yatimin al Asra fi harbin mashruha. So they are prisoners, and those are females. So why you are saying here we go? It says it says too. وملك اليمين قد يكون من النساء فتد فتدخل في نسائهم أو يكون من الصبيان. So they can be women or even boys. So your prophet is lawful for him to have sex with women and boys. This is a Sharawi. This is the tafsir you are reading from. It's in the front of my eyes. What you are talking about? You are reading from a shadow, no, right? No, this is no, a no, no, This is no, a shadow. You read for me. Does it say? Does it? Hold up. Listen. 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 Does it say? Read with me. Read with me. When you look at me, mean? You say you are reading from a shadow. Everybody heard you. You know something? You are playing with the word. You are mixing. I am not. This is a shadow. This is a shadow. This is a shadow. That means the little boys, the boys, they they still babies. Malikatu Yamin. Who are the Malikatu Yamin? It is lawful for you. Okay. Does the Quran says? Okay. Listen. 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 And it no, says, no. well, what does mean? Our Tibli Ladin Lam Yahoo Al Awat in Nisa, that means babies, the babies. Haha, you are mixing with okay, the words. Okay, listen, 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 listen. Listen, you said you are reading a, a, a Sharawi, and a Sharawi is saying Malikatul Yameen is the capture of war of women and children, and it's lawful for you to have sex with them. This is what it says in the front of you. So, what we will do now? And I can open right now in English. Where is the part for the women? It says here in front of you. You, you claim you speak Arabic, right? Here we go. It says, 
إذن في الدخول على المرأة and then مالكت أيمانهم الأحذاب 55 قلنا إن ملك اليمين يأتي من الأسرة في حرب مشروعة and then he continues saying that this is قد يكون من النساء فتدخل في نسائهن and this is a shawrawi yes yes فتدخل في نسائهن what what's wrong with that if it's woman okay she joined the the woman this okay. is what you are saying so in Arabic. She, he, so but you're a prophet, he owned, okay, so you're a prophet, so you're a prophet, so you're a prophet, he owned a slave, okay, you know something, listen, 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 so you're a prophet, did he own those women, you're a prophet, did you, okay, listen, 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 okay, listen, 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 let me, let me get you busted, let me get you busted one by one, okay, read for me, here to join, it's different than what you are saying, no problem, Abdul, listen, listen, Abdul, Listen, join listen. The woman. If it's woman to join the woman, okay. if it's it, his kids to, to join the kids, but it's not to, to have sex with the woman. Or okay, sex okay, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Read this hadith for me. I don't want to hold on. You are mixing the word with you. No, we are not. We are it's, not mixing. Yeah, and here yeah, we are getting you busted. Did your, your did your prophet, you did your prophet <laughs> rape Sophia? <laughs> did your prophet, <laughs> kidna did your no, prophet no, have no, a no, gift? No, hold on. I will get you busted in front of everyone. You're, you're a prophet, you're a prophet, I will name for you and we will show you reference one by one. This is the first verse we showed you, it says that your prophet is lawful for him to have sex with any slave woman he own. And the top of that, any Muslim woman, she can give herself to the prophet. S secondly, listen, is it true that, before we go there, is it true that if the prophet, his eyes fall into a woman, the prophet, the, the husband must divorce her so the prophet, he can have her. What are you showing on the screen? I'm asking you, is it true? If you're a prophet, his eyes fall into a woman. The husband must divorce the wife so he can have her. What's your proof? Here we go. And I'm glad that you speak Arabic. We can't see anything. All right, a second. Don't hang up. What do you hang up? Here we go. It's there. Don't go. Potato. Why you hang up? Here we go. This is the official government of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia website. And this is Tafsir Al-Qurtubi. And you speak Arabic. Now let us see what it says there. And this is explaining to the same verse we are talking about here, about Malikatul Yameen. You see it in the front of us. How do we know? How, how do we know what you are showing us? It's it true. It what is. Here we go. Oh, here we go. This is the address. I, I will show. I will show the address. Don't stop lying. You can. You can go right now, and everybody will see if this is really the official government website of Saudi Arabia. Here we go. Look at the address. Quran Education dot sa. So, yes, it's true, and this is Tafsir al Qurtubi. And now we go and we see what Tafsir al Qurtubi is saying. And you can open from your side Tafsir al Qurtubi. I read with me. If I am lying, then I'm saying I'm lying. And now you are, you speak Arabic, so you have no excuse. Here we go. Let us see. It says what and what Muhammad did. It's a bit late. <laughs> the YouTube is late. No problem. You will see it. <clears throat> what he's saying we can see it on the screen okay. I think they posted the link here for this one read with me carefully the Prophet, he had many privilege, and those are the privilege of the Prophet. We will start from here. This is Tafsir al-Qurtubi. Starting from privilege number one. Do you see the screen with me? <clears throat> Do 
Do you see the screen? Yes, but it's late. All right, no problem. Do you see it now? Yes. All right. You speak Arabic, right? Don't tell me you don't speak Arabic. Can you read for us what is there? Do you want me to give you the link so you can read from your side? Read for me the line number 10, the very privilege number 10. إذا وقع بصره على امرأة وجب على زوجها طلاقها. If the prophet his eyes fall into a woman, which means he like her, the husband he must divorce her. So the prophet he. Where, so where is that? Where is that? This go is back, the seer al Qurtubi. It's in the front of your start. eyes. Show me that. Show me that. Show me that. I'm showing you that. It's in the front of you. No, no. Where is it? Where is that? I'm showing you. It's in the front of you. All right, so so this one, how how would I know that what you are telling us right now, it is true from the tafsir? B very easy. You can open the tafsir from your side and you read it. I mean, how? What a big deal! You can open the book of tafsir and you can read it. Very easy in front of everybody. Okay. This is in the book of Al Qurtubi, page number one eighty-seven. Tafsir al Ahzab, verse number 50. One second. Hmm. What's happening? You speak Arabic, you do not need 10 hours to uh, to come with the answer. What kind of a prophet, if a woman walk in front of him and she is married, and she is a Muslim, her husband must divorce her so the prophet he can jump on her. And this is Arabic and this is Al Qurtubi. And I gave you the page number and I gave you the Islamic website. And this is the official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. I'm opening this website and I can't find what you are saying right now. You are now. lying, I'm my friend. To... It's in the front of me. Here we go. I will give you I will give you the link. Stop lying. Here we go. This is the link. Open it from your side. I give it to you in Skype. You see here, you see, he, he, he's playing with the word. It is the same. Ya ayyuh nabi inna bahna laka azwajaka allati a'taytahunna muhurhunna wa bahna laka ma malakat yaminuku min al-ima. Don't jump what I'm saying to you. Read it. How come you are not reading what I'm giving you? Does it say there that if the prophet, his eyes fall into a woman, her husband must divorce her so the prophet, he can F her, yes or no? I'll send it to you. <laughs> 
just check in the verses, okay? No problem. I wonder why it's taking you so long. I'm giving you the, the, the link. This is the Islamic government website of the uh, Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, official. And you are still checking. I don't know what chicken. I mean, what? it's in front of you. What's happening now? Why is taking two of you? Like, are you both of you shake? You grow beard? So two shakes, they cannot answer a line in their book. So look what we proved. That yes, your prophet, he owned hundreds of his slaves and he raped them. In the top of that, if a woman, she walk in front of him and she is married, still he have the right to take her and strip her from her husband and he jump on her. And you are in this ability and you speak Arabic you have no excuse Can you show us Bilal in the meantime? No problem. We will go to Bilal. Don't worry. <laughs> this is bigger than Bilal. What kind of a prophet? And not only that, we will show you Bilal and we will show you that Bilal begging for his freedom. Just wait. It's coming. But one by one. I can't find anything on the Yes. It's interesting. Not any sources like that to find this one, but uh, what he's saying. I didn't see when you um, cut the competition. Uh, I clouds. Uh, So what's happening now? Why is it taking so long? Trying to confirm this uh, KSU website. Oh, what confirm? I gave you the website and this is the official government of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. We can click down. It says contact us and it will take you to the official government of Saudi Arabia. And you do not need this website, by the way. You can just search the sentence in Google and you will find all your Islamic books saying that. You do not need even the website I gave you. Give us two minutes, we'll call you back, yeah? Where you want to have two minutes? Come on, just finish it.
Don't you want to go to Bilal? We, we have many. We have Bilal, we have many women. Muhammad, he raped them. We have the evidence, we have the reference, we have the page number, we have the hadith number, and you will be having fun for the rest of the night. This is the start. We are just saying hello. I need to get my charger. Ah, the charger. It's both of you. Why both of you will hang up? You don't need a charger. You have no answer. It's a shame for the prophet. Let's go to Bilal first. What Bilal now? Uh, this is more important. And we will go to Bilal. Don't worry. Do you think you can answer for Bilal? If you cannot answer for this one, you can answer for Bilal. Everybody knows that Bilal is a slave of our Prophet. What's wrong with you? Every single Muslim in the world knows that Bilal is a slave of the Prophet. Are you kidding me or what? <laughs> I mean, even Muslims, they are texting me in Skype saying, tell this guy we are Muslims, but he's wrong. The prophet, he owned many slaves. Even Muslims are upset from you. Bilal was the first black sheikh. Uh, my friend, your Bilal did not get his freedom even from your prophet. Your Bilal, he got, we, when Muhammad he died, he came to Abu Bakr saying, Abu Bakr, if you bought me because, because Bilal was a gift from, from Abu Bakr to Aisha. <laughs> he said to him, if you bought me for the sake of yourself, will keep me for your sake of yourself. But if you bought me for the sake of Allah, free me. Is that true? What's your proof? Yeah, okay, no problem. You are talking to Christian Prince. Where's your proof? Here we go. This is the proof. Read it. The YouTube is slow. It's not YouTube, it's slow, my friend. It's you. You are ashamed of your prophet. You do not know what to say. Where did you get this from? Don't change the topic. You, you see, I'm talking to two. One of you now, I want you to think about Bilal's story. And the other yeah. one, he need to answer me. The other one, he need to answer me, two of you. So you cannot keep busy in one thing. One of okay, you need Bilal. to answer me. I need an answer about your prophet. I gave you two okay. things already. I call you three okay. things, actually. Okay. And you Bilal. cannot answer anything. Okay. Okay. You so, are saying about Bilal, okay? You said, you said Bilal. No, no, no. He is the one talking to Bilal. You, you, I gave you time to read about your prophet having sex with women who they are not his wives. He forced the husband to divorce them. Why you are you changing the topic? What are you doing? Are you trying right. to escape the disaster? I gave no, you. No, no, no. Okay, no, then answer. No, no, but, then answer. No, but, the privilege of the prophet. They are 17, 19 the privilege. Number, number 10. If the prophet, his eyes fall into a woman, her husband must divorce her and he can F her. So you took all this time to jump to Bilal, right? Because Bilal will rescue you. No, you cannot do that with me. And here we go. I showed you Bilal about Bilal. Bilal begin for his freedom. Saying, if you bought me for the sake of yourself, keep me for the sake of yourself. If you bought me for the sake of Allah, leave me for the sake of Allah. Yeah. 
So, let us be honest. You are ashamed, aren't you? One second. Hmm. Who was of you is the sheikh? Both of you are sheikh or only one of you? I'm talking to shaky sheikh. Do you know how many times you told me one second? Did you decide to leave Islam? Isn't it obvious that Muhammad is a bad man? He look at the women, her husband must divorce her? This is a gang leader. This is not a prophet. <clears throat> My friend is checking the KSU website too. <laughs> I feel sorry for you. <laughs> You're a prophet. He received he received gifts as a human being. He used to receive gifts in Amazon, free shipping and handling. Maria the Copt, her cousins, her sisters, her niece, her nephews. He he received them as gift and he kept them as a slave and he raped them. What about Sophia, the one who kidnapped her? What about Bani Mustaliq, who he attacked them and he take all the women and he raped the women and he exchanged her with Dahya Kalbi? <laughs> they hang up the cowards. Potatoes. Literally, potatoes. The liar, he said, that Malikatul Yameen is Maghanim, which means uh, like he stole TV. The Prophet is lawful for him, the TV. This verse is speaking about you can have sex with the following, you liar. You can have sex with the following. You are an official liar and you have no dignity. And then what we do? We hang up and we run. And this is Ibn Kathir, the one you choose from the beginning. He owns Sophia. And he owned Juria, and they are counting you how many, and Maria, and Shamoon, and the mother of Ibrahim. Those are many women. He owned them in the booty, and some of them as a gift. And this is Ibn Kathir in the front of you, you coward liar. I wish always Muslims who speak Arabic they will call me because they make my life a lot easier. Hey guys, did we have fun? Yeah, they are gone. Potato, 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 potato. They are gone. What a shameful cult. A prophet. And yet, his followers, if a woman, she walk by, and he like her, you know, 
He said to the husband, divorce her right now. I want her. And the husband immediately, it's a privilege. Imagine they are saying, it's a privilege to the prophet that if his eyes fall into a woman, her husband must divorce her. And he did that with his own son. The story is even mentioned in the Quran about Zaid and Zainab. He went to the house of Zainab and he flirted with Zainab and he said to her, Praise be to Allah, the one who made my heart flip for you. Look how filthy he is. Imagine you have somebody you trusted him, not necessarily a father. In this case, Muhammad is the father of the guy he adopted him, which means the guy he trusted him to come inside his house when he is not there, for he is his father. And what he do when the husband is away, the hyena play. He come to the house and he flirt with the wife. And the wife, obviously, she don't want to be with the, someone like Zaid. She want to be with the, the one who is going to become a king, Muhammad. She want to be a wife for this man who now ruling thousands of fighters, not this little tiny one. So she told the husband, your father was here and he said that to me, he flirted with me. So the son, he went to his father, trustworthy father, and he said, Oh, you know what? I don't like this woman no more. No, you don't like her. Yes, because he's just heard that Muhammad, you want her. If you don't give her, he will kill him. Calling back for fun? Okay, just for you. I don't think they will answer her. I think they will immigrate to Afghanistan. See, he hang up. It says call decline. Call decline. Here we go. See it? Arwa Prophet. Call decline. When he called me, he was like a lion, and then he turned to be a cat. Show me where in the Quran it says that he thought like he's a, you know. <laughs> like, okay, show me, show me. Okay, I challenge you. I challenge you. You challenge me. I don't even dare to challenge myself. I will lose. Once I debated myself in the mirror like your prophet, talking to myself, I lost. I will never do that. I don't even play chess with myself. Anyway, guys, I hope we have a good time together. It's good like we have those two comedies. And one of them, maybe one of them, I think he's an Arab sheikh, and the other one is just an... You have no idea what is happening. So... Uh, Sheikh Arwa, Sheikh Arwa is the one who called me. He's supposedly an Arab. Um, I could not find really from his accent where, but maybe I'm not sure really where he's from. His accent is kind of uh, weird. You know, the way he was talking, like somebody in the phone bed, and you 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 sit in him for ten hours, and he tried to speak after that. But anyway, this is how they are, my friend, and this is who is Muhammad is. The second they meet someone he knew what Islam is about, they are mute, they are in silence. And they lie to us to say the Prophet did not own, not only he owned them, he raped them. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you are new, and don't forget to download this video as soon we finish, because we don't keep our videos in my channel for long. All right? Feel free to download them, but them. Anything is about politics or about Islam, feel free to download it. Anything else, please keep it in my channel, don't download. So I really, I really appreciate one thing, that the Lord, he gave us ability to meet together, to help each other. The one who knows, teach the one who do not know. And now all of you, Christians, Hindus, Buddhists, Jews, atheists, you know, you learn how to expose this stupid cult. 
This is a very good training for you. This is a training in school. Nobody, I don't think anyone who witnessed what's happening here every day in our program, any Muslim in the world can fool him and convert him to Islam ever. This is what we, what we do here is very important. This is a save life-saving program. There's many people who convert to Islam. If they stop here for five minutes, they will never do that. So I'm grateful to the Lord who taught me so I can teach you. He said, for, for free you took, for free you give. And this is my time for you for free. And may the Lord bless you all. I appreciate all those who help us, support us. And at the same time, remember one thing, never hate the Muslims. Because the devil, he work hard to make us hate them. For that will make us like Muhammad. Like the devil. Never hate the Muslims. Because now we will have two haters. And that will not solve the problem. Love them so you can help them. And you can save them. We don't want to be following the devil. We don't want to fall into the trap of the devil. The devil, he wants us to kill each other. The Messiah said, love your enemy. Bless those who curse you. That will solve the problem. Love with honesty and dignity. Never be hypocrite. Love is not to say to somebody, you are doing fine when he's wrong. That's not love. That is hate. That's hypocrisy. Political correctness is not love. It is the opposite. If somebody is doing something wrong and you love him, you tell him you are wrong so he can fix it. Only those who hate you, they will not tell you what's your wrong so you can do more wrong. Only those who loves you, they will shout in your face. They will say to you, you are wrong. Do you know what you are doing? And this is what happened to us, most of us. When we are teenage, your parents, they say to you, don't do that. You think they hate you. Look what they are forcing me. I want to go have fun. But they love you. They are trying to protect you. Later you will find out. But you will learn with high expense. I love you all. And I hope that the Muslims who listen to us today, they learn the truth and the truth will set you free. And my Lord, the Messiah, he said, I am the truth. I am the truth. I am the way. I am the door. I am the living God. Whoever believe in me and I will live. You Muslims, you believe that the Messiah is alive. How silly to follow a dead man like this, who if a woman walk by, her husband must divorce her and not to follow the living Messiah, who is right now listening to us in his heaven, even in your Yellow Pages book. We follow the living God. You follow the route in Muhammad, which even the Hadith says that when the, he died, they did not bury him for three days, and he stink. And Ibn Abbas, he said, bury your friend. He stink as all human, they stink. Because Muhammad lied to them. He says, we prophet, when we die, our body will not be consumed. And then he get himself busted. So followers of the Messiah, be proud of your Lord, not of a Christian prince. I am no one. Victory for him. Victory in his name. And victory for the sake of Muslims to save them. We don't want them to lose. We want them to win. Victory for the right, victory for the truth, and the truth will set you free. In the name of the Lord, I leave you in peace. Thank you for being here. May Christ bless you. See you soon. Bye-bye.